In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down a simple man-beating concept that's going to help you torch the meta man-to-man -man coverage that you might be still seeing online. This is a switch concept, a play out of the single back wing slot, which can be found in the New England Patriots offensive playbook. Now, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Cody, and basically what we do here is we do different tips and tricks videos every single day. We share different concepts, different routes, different uh, combinations of routes, how you can basically piece them together to make a really, really good offensive scheme, uh, as well as defenses. We show you coverages, we show you blitzes, we show you run defenses, all of that stuff. Um, and so if you want to get access to those, we upload four times a day at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. We also live stream every night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time on YouTube. So if you want to get access to all of that content and all those tips, I would highly encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. All right, guys, so I wanted to do a video today on um, a play out of our New England Patriots uh, playbook. Now, for those of you that don't know, I'm currently in the midst of recording a ebook, a full comprehensive guide on the New England Patriots playbook. It's going to be my second ebook of the year. And the reason that I wanted to do this is because I feel like the New England Patriots playbook is one of the best playbooks every single year in Madden. This year, I think it might be the best playbook in Madden as far as a whole balance. This is a more of a balanced system now my air raid offense which you can pick up in the description is in, and it also comes with my defense um, but my air raid offense is more of a pass heavy scheme it's more of a we're going to spread them out and we're going to throw it 50 times a game this playbook and ebook is a little bit more of a balanced approach now it certainly does have the ability to uh, throw 50 times a game we I mean it has some really really good route combinations that you can create um, but it's also um, able to audible down and audible into some of these um, pro personnel sets or some of these ace sets like what you see here if they're coming out in you know heavy pass coverage you can easily just run the ball on them so anyways I wanted to show you show you two plays from this today first is I want to show you uh, this this uh, jet six drive wheel and I also want to show you the halfback misdirection so in the jet six nine wheel basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna put uh, a good route runner at that left side screen and we're gonna have Mike Evans running that route and then we're just going to come out in man-to-man -man coverage. And all we're going to do with this, we could literally just run this play stock. And what you'll see is Mike Evans, when he gets to the outside, he's going to cut to the inside. He's going to beat man-to-man -man coverage pretty much every time. But this route is even better when it doesn't get pressed, okay? The one thing that can give this route a little bit of trouble is when it gets pressed. So what I like to do out of this formation is I will typically take uh, Chris Godwin. You could leave him on this wheel route if you'd like. I would also like to either drag him or slant him. Uh, actually, really like to slant him. And then I'll take one of my tight ends. Maybe it's uh, probably be Cameron Brait, and I'll put him on a flat zone. And then I'll take one of my tight, the other tight end, and I'll put him on a streak zone or streak route. I'm sorry. And then I'll smart route Mike Evans. That's pretty much the setup right here. And all I'm going to do with the snap of the ball is I'm going to motion Mike Evans to the right. You're going to see it's going to create a little bit of a switch and alignment. And I'm going to snap him right here. And when he cuts to the outside, pass lead that up. And he is going to torch man-to-man -to -man coverage. That's two man under. That's two man under. Okay. Now you say, well, what if they take the safeties away? Because a lot of people like to do this right here. They like to sit and cover one basically, and they're going to shade coverage over top to try to prevent any deep zone, any deep routes from occurring. So we're going to run that same route combination as you can see right here. And I'll typically block the running back or take him and just put him on a little swing route um, to the opposite side, just to kind of keep the zones. Uh, keep the middle of the field clean for me to be able to use that slant. Uh, but what you'll see right here, we're going to motion him over. And if we see something like this, we're just going to pass lead this route up. Now, I do want you to know that that is um, those are 30-yard purples. Let me uh, let me put those back to a little bit more of a realistic uh, number. Now, they may be 30 yards in game, and we'll show you how to beat them. Most people won't run these at 30 yards because 30 yards still won't stop crossing routes. They're going to probably run them at 20 or 25. Okay, so... We'll show you that real quick. Uh, accidentally came out and ran a play. We'll come back out in the in the standard man-to-man -man coverage. Now, obviously, um, we're in a dollar formation, and so you know that's also something that you need to be aware of. And the reason that's important is because if you find someone in dollar or you find them in um, like dime one four six or something like that, you can run the ball on them. And we'll show you that in just a second. But um, basically, you know, same route combination. Put that left of screen or right of screen. Outside tight end on a flat, put the inside tight end on a streak, and then we're going to take Godwin and we're going to put him on a slant. Smart route Mike Evans, make sure he's smart routed. And what you'll see here again, this is cover two man, and we're just going to pass lead him up, as you can see right here. And there I didn't uh, 
we got through that a little bit early. Um, part of this is a little bit of timing, right? You don't want to throw it too early. If you throw it too early, that's going to happen. You want him to really get that win animation where he's going to be able to really get over the top of the defense. Um, so we'll get him out right here, snap him out right here. He's going to get up, and you're just going to lob this up. And as you can see, um, actually we got kind of boxed on that play. Um, I think I think right there um, we snapped the ball a little bit too um, a little bit too uh, late. So you really want to get that snap right as soon as he passes a tight end, or you want to wait till he gets all the way out to the numbers. Um, if you wait till he gets all the way out to the numbers, check it out this right here, snap right here, and you'll see that you got a little bit more of an inside pass lead. As you can see, we're going to get up against the man coverage. And we're going to go for a one-play touchdown. Now, what if they run the purple zones? Let me show you that. Now, purple zones are going to make it, um, in my opinion, a little bit easier for this to torch. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the middle linebacker in a deep blue, and then we're going to run our purple zones. Okay? Now, let's say they go to you, and if they go to user uh, Mike Evans, then you just check down to your slant route, right? Pretty easy. But we're just going to motion him out, snap him right about here, get that nice motion, and we're just going to pass lead him up. As you can see, he's going to hit the sideline, he's going to bounce, and it's going to be a laser against that man-to-man -man coverage. Now, if they're running the purple zones, you really want to get him snapped. Um, if you know they're running the purples and they're not running the deep blues, if they've been running that a lot and that's a tendency, then what I would do, that's what I would definitely snap him um, right here. Whoops, I accidentally, I hit. Sometimes with the motion snap, if you double tap X, uh, or it'll it'll register it's double tapping X because you're trying to snap the ball, so didn't mean to make that throw but what you'll see right here again just a simple um just a simple motion snap of this route he's going to get right after he passes break that's when you want to snap right there and you see oh it's purple zones i can pass lead that straight up as you can see right there it's a one play touchdown against the meta coverage one of the most popular coverages in madden 21 this year is this coverage now let's say that they you know, let's say that they take their user and they try to go guard him. So to mimic that, we're just going to man him up onto Mike Evans. And let's just say, you know, for sake of the video, that they've taken him away, right? Well, what you've created in the middle of the field now, and I'm going to put my safeties on purples just to show it, because um, this is probably what they would do, is they just go user that route, right? Well, what you've created now in the middle of the field is a basic, um, just a basic stretch of the defense. And they're not going to be able to hang. So what you'll see right here, you just wait. That slant's going to come open at multiple routes. And you're just going to hit that slant against the man-to-man -man, uh, coverage. Now from this formation also, really quickly. Um, and again, if you guys haven't joined the text message membership, I'd highly encourage you to do that. Um, we just have some really, really good material in that text, text message membership. We've got over a 50-minute uh, video on the, um, the guide or the Big Nickel over G. We've got over a, um, we've got over an hour video on the gun bunch. Uh, I think we actually have over an hour and a half on the big nickel over G defense, and then we also have uh, Minnesota Vikings offensive playbook. We have a ton of other plays as well um, within that Minnesota Vikings scheme, and then we also have um, the gun cluster. But what you'll see with this is this misdirection play, um, with the way that most people are going to try to shoot. Obviously, you want to have dive and stretch and all that stuff. But what you'll see with this Mr. Exploit, they kind of get pretty decent blocking, especially against this formation, um, dime, dollar, whatever it may be. And I'll just show you really quickly. We'll just add a couple of run plays in here. But this is what I'm talking about. If they're, if they're in like a, you know, let's say they're in some kind of, you know, heavy man-to-man -man, um, deal, you see here, I got so many different opportunities to run the ball. And... This formation, running-wise, actually is fairly effective. So you have these these uh, RPO stretches, which I think the RPO stretches are much, much more effective than the regular stretches. I think you get better blocking, and I think they're harder to shoot. Um, so what you'll see right here, just you get good blocking on the outside, and you're able to go because you have that single-back wing stack. The tight ends are stacked on that line of scrimmage, which is really, really nice. So what you could do is you can make it look exactly the same. You see here I can motion Mike Evans to the right, snap him right about here, and now we're running the ball, we get that extra blocker on that side, and we're doing some good things. So it's just a matter of picking the right run, right? Maybe, um, you know, maybe this halfback, mis this halfback misdirection is kind of a hit or miss play, but when it hits, it can really hit. 
And um, I actually really prefer to run this play. This is one of my favorite runs. Um, what you'll see here is he's going to get you know that outside animation. We're going to be able to double juke that guy and typically get at least three to four um, on this misdirection play. You know, but you also have these nice little lanes. I think you have pretty good blocking in the middle in the interior of the defense. For something like a dime on four six or dollar, this is actually really, really important. Now, what if we wanted to run just a simple zone read? Well, this little weak zone, I think this zone zone run gets really good blocking as well. So what I'm what I'm getting at here is you have that man beating play, but you also have all of these really, really nice little running plays that I think will be very, very effective. And it's gonna force your opponent to have to play very disciplined defense. You know, they're really going to have to be in some type of zone coverage and some type of zone blitz. But you see, you get to look like this for the trying to send the goons at you. You know, it's just a simple stretch run, and you get out of there, and you're going to roll. So um, this little ace slot formation from our New England guide is really, really, really good. Hopefully you enjoyed that route. Now, that route um, is in multiple formations and in multiple playbooks. So the motion over of those S routes are really a great tactic this year to beat man-to-man -man coverage, especially if you want to try to get it for a one-play touchdown. So I'd encourage you to check those routes out, maybe in your own playbook. Um, or if you want to switch over to New England, like I said, just let me know and we can get you the guide once it comes out. We'll get you a link to that. But, um, yeah, anyways, guys, just text me if you want to be a part of the text message membership. Um, we are streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Uh, and also, uh, last but not least, guys, make sure to go ahead and... And click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen because we upload daily tips and tricks. We typically try to get to four videos every single day for you guys. Um, so if you appreciate that stuff, just hit the like button at the bottom right-hand of the screen and hit the subscribe button. That'd be great. If you haven't jumped in the Discord yet, make sure to do that as well. We'll see you tonight on stream at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time.